What is operational research? In a nutshell, OR is the discipline of applying appropriate analytical methods to help make better decisions. In today's world, OR is all around us. It can be found in just about everything we do. It forms the building blocks for our everyday world, from buying a flight to queuing for our weekly groceries. It helps save lives. It drives business and government. Without OR, the modern world we take for granted wouldn't exist. There has never been a better time to be an operational researcher. Today, most organisations have masses of data. The ways we communicate are fast. Computers are sophisticated and powerful. And the business world is now investing heavily in putting operational research at the centre of what they do. This is not maths in theory, but maths in the real world, making a real difference. Never before have so many people or products needed to be moved around the world. As passengers and consumers, we expect everything to run smoothly. Whether we are buying flights, commuting to work, or wanting food readily available at the supermarket. For businesses, moving people and products around can be a complicated and expensive matter. Here at British Airways, Getting the maths right can make passengers more satisfied with the service and make millions of pounds worth of difference to the business. The OR department of British Airways has been here a long time. We influence a whole range of decisions. We're a big complicated business and OR thinking is pretty critical to taking the right decisions. OR helps influence a range of decisions across the business, right from which aircraft should we buy, uh, where we should fly, who our alliance partners should be, how we should board the new A380s, how many tickets we should sell of what type, what our customer data is telling us right across the range of the business. This is the Airbus A380, the largest passenger aircraft in the world. These new aircraft are a fantastic opportunity for British Airways to expand, but with this opportunity comes risk. We've never operated an aircraft this big before and getting it wrong can have huge impacts on the entire operation. There could be delays which would impact customer satisfaction and getting it wrong could incur additional costs which obviously will impact profitability. The business was interested in seeing how long it would take between the aircraft arriving and then being ready to leave again. We chose to solve the problem using simulation and the reason we used simulation was because it allowed us to run multiple scenarios in a safe and virtual environment. We were able to recommend to the business how many staff were required, how many doors we needed to use to board the aircraft to ensure that boarding took no longer than it currently does on the Boeing 747, whilst making sure the customers have the best experience possible. OR really valued here by the company. OR thinking and OR insights are incredibly useful when you're trying to take really difficult business decisions. Uh, and also, OR people often bring that different way of looking at a problem that you, you don't see yourself. In today's world, all of us expect the things we want and need to be readily available. That means shelves to be always stocked and deliveries to arrive on time. This is what we term the supply chain of a business. For a major UK retailer like Asda, it's crucial that this process runs like clockwork. And OR techniques lie at the very heart of keeping the business running. We service over 500 shops in the UK, serving almost 8 million customers every week of the year. Cleaning and distribution, we have a huge responsibility to make sure that our customers served on time with product that's as fresh as possible. We use operational research pretty much every day in our working lives. One of our biggest challenges in the last five years is about how quickly we can get the products from point of manufacturer 
to point of delivery into our depots. Our focus on route planning and analysis has made a real big difference to the way that we operate. It means that we take miles off the road, we, we reduce the impact on the environment and has helped our cost position. One of our biggest recent initiatives is the utilisation of higher capacity delivery vehicles um, delivering to our shops. Through the analysis that we completed, we were able to prove that by getting almost twice as much product on these vehicles, it had a substantial cost benefit for us and it saves us £10 million a year which we can reinvest back into price. Here at ASDA, OR techniques run right through the business, helping to influence big decisions such as where to build a new store or depot. Building a new depot is a big investment for ASDA and can cost up to £60 million, so it's critical that we build in the right location. We do this through a large amount of modelling and analysis tools to help us understand where in the country we will be building new stores, so where that depot needs to be. Here, OR is used to ensure that ASDA are constantly improving every process within the depots to get the products out to the stores more quickly. I work in continuous improvement for distribution and we look at our depots, um, the processes that we complete, how long they take and how we can improve them so that we can make the depot more efficient. Every single day that we come to work, it's a new challenge. And if we can use operational research to support that and make it easier and better for our customers, then we've done a great job collectively. The world of sport isn't an obvious place where operational research is at hand, yet many of our much-loved activities rely on OR. And whether designing a sports stadium or even an Olympic village, OR helps make the spectator's experience much more enjoyable. This is the Emirates Stadium in North London, home of Arsenal Football Club. Here, OR had a big part to play in the design and construction of the stadium, as well as in the efficient running of the site on match day. Just imagine a match day situation. When you arrive at the station itself, uh, OR starts to feature immediately. You get off the, off the train, uh, people marshal you towards the stadium. That part of the process has already got OR taken into account, trying to find the safest way for you to move. Then when you reach the stadium itself, the number of turnstiles, for example, will have been determined by uh, an OR technique. And then as you move around the stadium, the places where the signs are located and the way you move to your seat will also have been determined by, by different OR techniques. So it's really important to everything about this, this stadium. Uh, the design of this stadium is obviously magnificent. It's a, it's a 60,000 capacity stadium and without a model of people moving in and out you'd never know whether during a match situation, if there was a fire for example, if those people could be evacuated safely within the eight minute guidelines. The explosive world of Formula One. High speed, multi-million pound racing technology. Being Formula One, we, we require more and more uh, expert on kind of uh, risk analysis and uh, game theory and simulation. Formula One, where split second decisions are the difference between success and failure. And often these decisions are a matter of mathematics resting in the hands of some of the world's finest operational researchers. I think the first thing that people will see the direct application of OA is on define the race strategy, the initial fuel load, estimating uh, competitors' uh, fuel load and where they're going to stop and when we're going to hit traffic during the race, when is a good lap to come out of the pit stops and tyre degradation, this is a old estimation that we need to do as the race develops. I strongly believe that OA has a great role to play in Formula One for the future.
central government is the biggest business in Britain. And in government, OR gets involved in just about everything that affects our day-to-day -day lives. Operational research plays a crucial role in improving the quality of decision making right the way through the system from senior decision makers in departments right the way up to the Prime Minister. To confront our problems... If you've ever interacted with schools, obviously you have, or with hospitals or with the transport system, you'll have had some benefit from the role OR has played in improving the way that those services are delivered. Travelling on motorways, how does the Department of Transport actually deploy its various emergency services? UK Borders Agency plays a role in actually modelling the number of people who arrive and leave the country. The Home Office, they do significant amounts of work on how we're trying to reduce crime across the country. Doing OR in the heart of government really gives you the opportunity to influence decision makers right at the very centre. It's a real buzz and a drive to actually be changing the way that we're delivering the things that we all live and breathe and interact with on a daily basis. This is St George's Hospital in London. Here, using OR techniques can literally be the difference between life and death. One of the really big things that hospitals have to think about is how long patients stay and so therefore how many beds and how many wards and how many doctors you have to look after them. It's really important for us to be able to get as far as we can the right capacity for the patients who are going to come through the door so that we can give them the treatment that they need when they need it. Patients, when they're referred by their GP, either into A&E or into outpatients, um, enter a series of queues and one of the things that we really have to do and we've been working very hard on is getting those queues as short as we can and making sure that we don't have bottlenecks in our system and so therefore we need queuing theory and operational research techniques to help us make sure that we can get that right. Operational research is often at the heart of what makes a business run efficiently. Here, everything must be planned and timed precisely to avoid bottlenecks. Tata Steel in Port Talbot manufactures steel products, and operational research techniques are key to improving productivity and reducing costs. What we produce here are big steel coils that we sell on to various companies that produce everyday objects such as tin cans, office furniture, cars and fridges. The OR team currently consists of 12 members. We provide an in-house service where we incorporate ourselves into various project teams for all the departments. We use lots of software within the department where we can build real-world processes on a computer screen and visually show these to the project managers, the process specialists, and they can play out various scenarios without having to work them out on real-world processes. This, in turn, can save a lot of money and is a lot safer in the long run. Here on the plant, we've had a throughput of up to 4.4 million tonnes of uh, steel, and we're looking to take that up to 5.3 million tonnes. So we've got a project to look at the infrastructure to see if it can handle the extra 20% throughput. The benefits of uh, producing 5.3 million tonnes as opposed to 4.4 will mean that our cost per tonne will come down as an organisation. The reason why we got the OR team involved is because when you're looking at your own process and you're so close to it, I think you make a lot of assumptions and the model will take those assumptions away. They started coming to our meetings first of all, but then we got into the nitty gritty of actually going out on plant and getting them as close to the process as we could so they could see for themselves. As you think about what the future may hold for you, if you want to consider taking up a career in operational research, take a look at the interesting university degrees out there that are the best route into what we call OR, the science of better. Offering you a truly inspirational challenge that will test even the most inquisitive of minds. Well, there are many different academic paths into operational research, although most people tend to have degrees uh, with mathematics, statistics, computer science or management content. Pupils will learn a number of OR techniques such as computer simulation, optimization, queuing theory, inventory control, problem structuring methods, to name just a few. 
you also get a good balance between a theoretical work and an, and an appreciation of the application of these techniques. And that will involve case studies, project work, which might involve working with a real-life company on a real-world problem. Operational researchers. Encouraging innovation in successful organisations. What I really like about working in OR is the variety of problems we need to solve and being able to work on the different production processes on a week-to-week -week basis and going out and visiting the plant and helping process specialists solve their problems. If you really want to use your analytical, mathematical and logical skills to actually make a difference, OR gives you the perfect opportunity to actually change the way people live their lives. Excellent problem solvers that the rest of us turn to to help revolutionise the way we live. The thing about an operational research career is that the variation you work in, you've, you can work for any department, you can work even within the department, the projects you work on are always varied. After the first two weeks I was on a project right from the start. You know, I felt really an important member of the team. I was meeting with clients and it was really exciting. I enjoy the role that I do because of the variety of the things that I can be involved in um, and I also get to see behind the scenes of a, a, a big UK retailer um, and, and the scale of the operations that we have and the different processes we complete within our depots and I also get to be involved in the decision making process behind our projects. Mass at work is somewhat different than mass at school. You're not given a structured problem. You have to come, you get a general problem, you have to structure it into a math problem and then solve it. And also, the decision and result you come up with is actually used in real-life decisions. Do you want to take decisions that can make a real difference? If you'd like to learn more about OR, go to learnaboutor.co.uk.